Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And now it's time for forge business. Gotta find a power source. That's a lot of door. That's because it's trying to keep Spooky McGee out. Juice is the robot calls him so lovingly. This must be where they oh, wrong button. Forge's power. But there is nothing here. It is must be, you say. Messing with us? I don't know, but if the power source really is missing, we could grab the one in the other dimension. The one with an entire station looking for us? Until we have a better solution. Now, let's find us some bleeds on. Well, in that dimension, it's a whole station looking for you. In this dimension, it's a spooky fish monster. So, you know. Something, something, beggars and choosers. Oh, can't go that way. There's a window there. Forward it is, then. Is oh, that... it's him. We're just going to be careful and quiet. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, he's not phased. And he does a lot of damage. So what we have to do is we have to break these... See, that yellow stuff in those canisters... It distracts him. Oh, and I'm leaving. Well, for some reason, the dimension where the whole station's searching for us keeps looking better and better. There yeah, you go. Exactly. I don't know where he is. I do not see Blaze on anywhere. The only place left to look is through the next blast door, but it seems very locked. What if we follow those cables above us? Maybe we, we know how it works. I think you are right. This time. This time. Thanks for the backhanded compliment. What else are friends for? Let's go. Huh? These things. It's okay. Nothing a little buzz blades can't take care of. Ah, uh, this guy. Yep, except now he's out there. What computer? Where? Which one? Oh, right here, duh. This is the one I was already messing with. Let us watch. Yes, let's. Resuming playback on station log. Come here, come here. Okay, look out past the me. That's just not playing around in. Look, you see it? <laughs> How does it swim like? Oh, oh. Is that a hello? Wait, what are you guys doing? You're hurting it. Stop. Get this right now! Stop! That was Jump Bot? And I think he was talking about juice. Let's get out of here! So, it seems like this creature has a legitimate reason to be angry. Hopefully that distracts it for a bit while I go follow these cables. Right. If it keeps following me, there'll be another thing right there for it to eat. Ah, this lock's controlled by a bolt crank. 
guess they didn't get around to upgrading this room. Run! Oh shit. This part sucks because you have to wait until he gets close to you and then you gotta risk tether back. And then keep going on this. And then he's gonna come back. So you gotta do it again before he hits you because he does a lot of damage. There's no jelly canisters anywhere. Yep, but so it's just a matter of timing. I, that's what I've been doing. And we just gotta keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep. There we go. Oh. That's our cue. Almost there. Boom. Not almost. We are there. All right. If I were please on, where would I be? I don't know if he followed us or not yet. I did see some crates back here, though. Oh, no, the door closed. Okay. So we do, we have a breather for a moment. Uh -oh. Ratchet, are you okay? Yeah. Luckily, my O2 filtrator still works. I hadn't tested it in years. Yeah, so we don't have any worries. We can breathe down here. We're good. Ratchet, I have been thinking about what you said earlier about the Lombax and risking a good life. I had a good life on Savali. It was peaceful, quiet, even joyful. So when you asked to become partners, I did not want to risk things either. But I am glad I did. Thanks, Kit. That means a lot. But I'm just not sure it's... It is okay. Now I can be the one who believes in you. Well, I'll let, uh... I'll let trading the peaceful life in for adventure... Uh, you know, to the heroes of the fantasy stories. I think me, personally, I'm quite content with my, uh... My, my safe and peaceful life. <laughs> I think there might be an extra over here or something. It's off the beaten path after all. Or is it just an alternate alternate way around? I guess it's just an alternate way around. Ah! Using a lightning rod underwater. Because why not? Surely that wouldn't backfire terribly. Alright, so that's the way to go. Is there anything over here? Before I keep going? Oh, it does look like there's raritanium over there. I don't think I could reach it from here, though. Oh, yeah, I can. Just barely. Okay, cool. They, like, put that just out of, like, just, like, if it was, an, like, an inch further away, you wouldn't be able to get it. Hey, Blizzon! Oh, fuck me. Come on. Alright, well, we'll take our chances here. Hey, Mrs. Zircon! Long time no see. You two want some new gear? I got a special discount at 100 Fathoms! Miss yes. Zircon? What are you doing here? Zircon Jr. wants to study existential economics at Bogon University, then by goodness, I will make sure we can afford it. And that means interdimensional weapon selling. Got it. All right. Now we can afford the Void Repulsor, so let's get it. You got your defense and your offense all in one right there. Ooh, the Bombarder and the Warmonger are both coming soon. 
the warmonger is a a, fa a fan favorite for sure because it's basically just a rocket launcher <laughs> all right let's upgrade the buzz blades because you know i love me some buzz blades they're so buzzy and blady All right. Looks like you've got some open sales and the rare to match. Uh, what else have I been using a lot lately? The lightning rod? Let's go with that. Okay, uh, let's fully up... Let, should we finish upgrading Mrs. Fun Gal? Yeah, we should, because we use it a lot. So. We'll just keep going with that for now. Two more and it's fully upgraded. All right. Half R2 for a shield. Full R2 for a blast. Alright. Yep, pull the trigger halfway for a shield. And when you fully when you fully upgrade this weapon, uh, when it fully levels up, you can like collect enemy attacks with the shield and then shoot them back at them. There is an increased magnetic field here. The power source must be nearby. Impossible. Those we shall decorate the floor with them. The void repulsor is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, now it's out of ammo. Buzz blades. I freaking love the buzz blades. They're my personal favorite. They're so chaotic. Do we have the Glove of Doom yet? Did we ever buy that? I don't think we did. No, we did not. Oh well. Ow! Fun of fucking the big guy Yak and Hingle. We don't have enough for it, though. Honestly, the only way we're going to have enough for everything is if we go back and do those Colosseum tournaments. Kingdom Hearts style. I mean, because they pay out nicely. The ones where you win bolts for winning, you get a lot of bolts out of it. We might go do that in a bonus episode, honestly. But it's a lot easier to do once you've had some progress made in the game. We should free him. Look at what they put him through. No wonder he is so angry. Exactly. Ratchet, if we do not give him a chance, who will? Yeah, well, you're right. We'll just have to find another power source. If we survive that long. Yes, find another power source, because this is inhumane. Or an angry hiss. Only one way to find out. Capture the power source. It was not scheduled to have hope today. He's <laughs> helping us. He's helping us. Man, that's a relief. He's helping us for now. Don't get your hopes up too much. Oh shit, there's three of them. There's literally three of them. Good thing Juice is helping us in this one, because these guys are a pain in the ass. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh. 
Damn, they got rid of my mushroom people quick. Alright, that sucks. Alright, that's not good. Alright, there we go. Ooh, we made that fight with nine health left. How did I not get health out of that? There was clearly a health box on top of those boxes. Whatever. Moving on. This crystal? Oh, thank you. That was very helpful. Any place is better than here, right? Maybe he can help us power the forge after all. All right, let me check upstairs for items first, though, bro. Okay. There's, ooh, buzz blades ammo. Don't know where they came from, but I'll take it. All right, here we go. Bam, Shananga. All right, maybe you can help us with the other version of you. The ruby on forge is upstairs. Yep. It is me, good old JB. <laughs> I forget what the C stands for. Creature? Oh, they're in love. Yeah, boy. Schematics uploaded. Yeah, this time you hit the one that looks like the one that you shouldn't push. I love how subversive they were on that. Did it work? Ba ba bam! We have a new well, dimensionator. Yes, we did it, kid. You are a good partner. <laughs> Here is the new friends. Looks like we just need to get back to our ship now. Oh, this elevator can take you right back to the surface, no problem. Come back soon, Dragon Kittles. Ah, thanks, and we'll do. Junkie. All right. Clank, rivet, we built the dimensionator. No way. Yes way. We? I knew you could do it. We have obtained the face quartz as well. Yeah. Um, meet us at Zerky so we can build this thing. Oh. How do I meet someone? What are you talking about? You met me, and that went great. I fell off the archives in front of you, and screamed. A lot. True. <laughs> I don't know. Just be friendly and open. And don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay. Boy, if only it were that easy, huh? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, this will take us all the way back to the ship, conveniently enough. And that's right, Rivet and Clank don't know about Kit yet. They don't know about Kit, but they're in for a surprise, especially given the history between a couple of characters. All right, let me double check something. Okay. Kit, bye bye. All right, back to Zerkies. Hope everything's good on Rivet's end. <clears throat> I guess we'll get there as Rivet first. Hi, Wretched. I'm Rivet. 
Nice to meet you. What are you doing? Nothing. Just thinking about building the Dimensionator and saving the universes. Are you uh, nervous about meeting Ratchet? What? Yeah, a little. <laughs> he is friendly, I promise. And of course she's... build the Dimensionator, he will help us find Dr. Nefarious. <sighs> right. Of course she's this nervous. Our adventure's coming to an end, Bolts. Getting, getting there. Dr. Nefarious will be back in your own dimension in no time. There's a couple of rug pulls coming yet, though. Don't worry, you worry. <laughs> They always find a way to prolong it just a smidge. But of course she's nervous. Not only is it another oh, Lombax, which is new for her, but it's a male Lombax on top of that, so you know. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. All mongas are ready for purchase. Oh, I love me a rocket launcher. Me too. Let's check it out. The warmonger. A weapon whose destructive capability is matched only by its simplicity. Pull the fire trigger. It shoots a rocket. Turn it again. It shoots another rocket. Ah, but what happens if you fire a third time? It shoots another rocket. Man, I never would have seen that coming. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Crazy stuff. And that Nobody is available is before the bombarder. Seven. Yeah, I don't have enough for any of this, though. Uh, not even close. I'm going to have to do those cups, I think. I think I might have to. Incoming. Okay, let's finish upgrading Miss Fun Gal. It truly does not get more fun All than right. that. And then let's see, what else do I use a lot? I use the Drill Hound, clearly. I use the Ricochet. I use the Shatter Blast. We should start working on some of those. Let's work on the Drill Hound. Direct hits do more damage now. All right. Glad to be of service. Yeah, me too. All right. Time to meet Ratchet and Kit. Kit. What's? Uh, uh, hey. Hey. Yes, um, hi! Um, I have Clank. <laughs> oh, pal. I am fine, Ratchet. In fact, I am beginning to like my new look. For the record, I found him like this. Come on, I knew you wouldn't hurt Clank. Pretty sure you're me, after all. Wait, what makes you so sure you're not me? Well, I mean, come on, I, uh... uh... You got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Rivet, this is... Kit, I have been looking forward to meeting you. Um, me too. <laughs> uh... I suppose it is time to fix this mess. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a wallpaper-worthy screenshot right there. Uh oh. Well, well, well. They were waiting for us. Thank you. To think we could possibly be outsmarted by this asshole, though. Seriously. Does this dimension love me or what? My problems deliver themselves right to me. How many times you beat this guy? Clearly not enough. Can I try? Be my guest. What are you doing? All right, Nefarious. Time for an ass whooping. Ow! What can stop hitting me with your sword? Haha, ha, enjoy being electrocuted, dickhead. Alright. Woohoo! Good thing I don't lose in this dimension. 
You already knew about me. You didn't account for this. I'm gonna die. Okay. Never mind, we're good. We got this, we got this, we got this. Watch this. No! Ah, oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this multi-dimensional boss battle is really fun. I should have did those Colosseum Cups before this, though, so I would have had more weaponry to work with. Ah, fuck. Okay. Alright. Ah! <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's not nice. Okay. I need a temporary defense. Aha! Help. Oh boy, here we go again. This is like that boss battle in Kingdom Hearts 2 in Timeless River when you're fighting present day Pete and he keeps like changing the scenery after you take down so much health. And you have different obstacles to deal with. Of course I'm just chatting. I have an audience to entertain. Ah, fuck me. Okay. Now we gotta deal with him and this thing, this Grunthor at the same time. And it, yeah. You think so, but no. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> what a dick! All right. Electrocute. Oh boy. You probably got your calculations wrong. Yeah, none of them actually give a shit about you, honestly. Not done with you yet, buddy. Get your happy ass back here. Gotcha. Oh, did you think it was over? You forgot, there's another Nefarious. This dimension's Nefarious. And he is not a klutz. This guy does not fuck around. Now, shit just got real. <laughs> wow, what a battle! Well, thank you. 
Are we done having fun? Come on! Give it up for Rivet and her first victory! I wish I could have been here sooner. However, I am thrilled to announce that I finished neutralizing my enemies. <laughs> With the exception of Captain Quantum. And... Anyway, when I heard that the Rebel Lombax was battling me, I had to... Come here, the universe celebrate your defeat? Who's celebrating? You mean them? No! 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 <laughs> he just straight up sucked them into another dimension. I've been fighting rebels for years. Let me help you wipe them out. Ah, oh, my, um... Strange fan wants to assist. <laughs> Tantalizing. Why don't we make this interesting? A home game, perhaps? It's going to Sargasso. I have to get there first. We're coming with you. Ratchet, we must find Quantum. He is the last rebel on that list. Go to Ardolis and find Pierre. He'll take you to him. All right. So now it's time for another split up. If we are going to face the Emperor, we should gather as many resources as we can. <sighs> You're right. Maybe a good idea to hit the arena before we go. We're going to. Because even though the Emperor is actively on his way to our home world to destroy it, he will be polite and wait to start destroying it until we get there, you know, so that we have time to do things like this. <laughs> because video games. Ah. Uh, let's see. I mean, she brings up a good point. That's worth a gold bolt. I want to do the one, survive five waves against the Mangler, defeat four waves of enemies using the Warmonger. I mean, I could do both of those, and they're both worth a lot of bolts. Yes, yes, sir. Eh. I feel like I could just do this. Nah, screw it. Let's just move on with the story. We get more than enough bolts that way. I could go up against the Mangler, but I'll just save that stuff for later. Let me know if you actually want to see that crap, and then I'll do it. Come back just because he was on the news. Ugh. Not for the dimensions falling apart, or the Emperor has always been a threat to our universe. We must get the Dimensionator away from him before we have no home left to save. All right, so we got a couple of options here. All right, so Rivet's heading to Sargasso to stop the Emperor's invasion. The Emperor destroy my home. And meanwhile, Ratchet oh, will the be... Other names on that hit list. It is not your fault that they were captured. <sighs> Ratchet will be heading to Ardolius to recruit Captain Quantum, who is this Dimensions version of Captain Quark, who we all know from the previous games to be a bit of a doofus. But anyways, let's do this first. Childish. Because it has, like, priority importance. We're basically... I mean, if this was a movie, she'd basically be racing him back. Now that he has the Dimensionator... We will not lose your friends. So, if Ratchet is an alternate dimension me, and Clank is an alternate dimension you, were we meant to team up too? They do seem... happy together. Yeah, guess being on my own is just what I'm used to. Me too. So maybe this is just temporary. That's kind of sad. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure they'll all be best of friends by the end. That's usually how this kind of thing works out. But Furious. damn if they don't dig into some deep character development. In the meantime, for sure, for sure. Is all, all right. this fighting really necessary? Hey, can't we talk about this over some lemonade? No! The Emperor despises lemonade! Nothing should be sour and sweet! I am done with these guys! Nobody messes with the morts! The That's Emperor right. Is truly the worst. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. I thought Ratchet was your favorite customer. 
Are you playing? Are you are you playing both sides? Bombardier. I called it the bombarder. It's the bombardier. Yeah, that thing is actually pretty Jesus fun and useful. Woo! That's new. Let's check it out. Oh, right, it's basically a turret gun. I remember now. And we can't afford any of that shit for sure. And it's coming soon, the Headhunter. Which one. is basically a sniper rifle. You know, I might just go back and do those cups in between recordings. Okay. Yeah, I might go back and do those Colos those tournament cups in between recordings just to make sure I have extra bolts and stuff for the weapons. All right, let's see how much more of this we can squeeze out. In the meantime. Well, keep pointing out the obvious kit. It's extremely helpful in these stressful situations. about does it for that your friends are safe oh rivet sorry you had to come save us again we've tried to hold our own fixed up the seeker feed and everything but one of those dimensional thingamajiggers is blocking it from taking off first off none of this was your fault second leave the thingamajigger to us yeah we are Thankfully for, luckily for you guys, I'm a thingamajigger professional. Rivet's all like, bring it on, and Kit's like, no, I enjoy living. It's like the dynamic between Ben and Zoe in Escape Room 2. Rivet, 
It's a bit tasteless of you to disrupt my welcome wagon. I put a lot of balls into it. I hope you don't mind I watch from a distance. I'm just exhausted from eliminating your allies. <laughs> I've seen better resisting, to be honest. A lot of talk for a hologram. <laughs> Why would I waste my energy fighting? You and your fellow rebels will soon be a memory. Along with this sludgy excuse for a planet. Sargasso needs to Sargas go. <laughs> Peons. Yeah, keep laughing. Let's see how you feel when we free the seeker peed. Threatening me over holograms. Classy. Instilling fear from a distance is a common tool of oppressors. I have seen it many times in my studies. We should come here. Getting closer to the secret piece. Just keep pushing forward. R Rivet was about to say something about instilling her foot up his ass, I think. Then. Our troopers will assist in your compliance. Good riddance. I'm gonna try. I feel Kit's level of anxiety, though. That poor robot. Buzzblade! Bam! Smash! Boom and crash! Okay. We gotta worry about the robots and the wildlife at the same time. Yeah, why not? Alright, who's shooting lasers at me? You didn't last. Another juggernaut. Easy come, easy go. At least it's just one this time. Fighting three at once was a big pain in the ass. Ah. Mm, 
Oh nein. Back to the buzz blade. Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. HP increased by 10. All right. All right, thingamajigger. Here we come. I am looking forward to examining that anomaly. Um. And how are we supposed to do this exactly? Oh. So right. when I was with Clank, he it is just like what I imagine. Yep, another one of these. Get. Get. Oh, you're all right. Yes, I am quite all right. Thank you. But unfortunately running out of time, so you'll have to excuse me. Dimensional anomalies. Oh, so that explains why this all feels so familiar. It does? Fascinating. Some kind of dimensional deja vu. Anyway, care to help? Absolutely. Oop, that was not what I was supposed to do. Does that spinergizer look powered down to you? Maybe it could use a boost. <laughs> What spinergizer? Oh, I see what you mean. That's intriguing. The spinergizer converted the dimensional energy into action. Okay, that's cool and all, but this needs to not be going that way now anymore. Like, I thought after I got off this button, it was supposed to stop doing that. No, I need that to go away for the moment. Because maybe it's because they keep walking on the button. Yep, there we go. Now they're not walking on it anymore. All right. Now they should be able to get across. Yep, just like that. Perfection. Thank you. How bad are things now? Well, we're circling the drain. It seems that the dimensional cataclysm has been intensifying even faster than I expected. I assume the Emperor stealing the Dimensionator and firing it recklessly has something to do with that. Ah, uh, that would do it all right. Yeah. Generally, the space-time continuum wants to stay intact. So, Otherwise, everything you... goes wonky-donky. Oh. Compliment, kid, to both of you. What do you think of Clank? We have barely spoken, but I am glad my counterpart is a good guy. You were worried about that? It is a reasonable concern. Well, it wasn't for me. You're good. No, great. So, of course, he would be, too. Okay, I do need them to keep... Ah, fuck. Okay, well, I need to get across there first. Now I do need them to go. So that I can step on this. There we go. And then I'll put this in there. Yeah, and then they'll go straight across. Bada bing, bada boom, I win. 
All right. Look at you, kid. One more. Ratchet, does that mean you're here with Rivet? As we have been destined to be. Is that what you think is happening? I do not know. With Ratchet, we worked well together. But I was always worried about disappointing him. And I still am. Well, destiny or not, I hope Rivet realizes how lucky she is to have you. Yeah, but you know, it's just not like a good old-fashioned adventure story without the characters coming to conflict at some point. I hope I'm not interrupting your process, but I think there are more spears left to find. You are correct, there are more spears left to find. Unfortunately, because we're not going to manage to go about it this way. I know what I'm doing, though. That Spinergizer could use some energizing. Kit, you know that you've done better than I would have if I had been in your shoes, right? What? You went out into the unknown, without a lifeline, doing the last thing you ever wanted to do. And you're succeeding! <laughs> I could never have done that. But you are. Trying to fill in for your father. Helping Clank and I navigate all of this. You are doing that. And succeeding. That is... Go us! Go us! <laughs> and I we have done so it. I am so proud of you. Well done. I could not have done it without you, Gary. All right, well, that is three down. And we should... Yep, Seeker Pete is free, and he can now defend Sargasso from the incoming invasion. Thanks a bunch there, kid. Now these jerks will really find out who they're messing with, don't you know? Mosh, please! Nice work! You're welcome. Want to blow that up? I could be persuaded. Exactly Sounds like fun. Straight line to the battle cruiser, but that hurl shot should get us closer. All right. Well, on that note, though, we're actually going to have to go ahead and call this episode here because I'm running out of time. You know, our recording limit on the PS5 and all that. So, anyways. But we got a lot covered, man. We did a lot. We had a boss battle with Nefarious. We, you know, the uh, the uh, alternate dimension Nefarious showed up and all kinds of shit's going down now. So we're like, we're hitting the climax of the story. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this episode and the game so far in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you possibly in another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.